Hey guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. And I wanted this to be the start of a new uh, mini series on this channel. Now, everyone constantly asks for updates to the, the uh, in depth guides that I've done. Now, I've hesitated doing that because there really hasn't been any meaningful change in this game in terms of power set abilities in multiple years. So, uh, even since Batuba was here, and even then when Batuba was here, he was just barely uh, getting started with his quality of life adjustments to power set. So, you know, I don't want to do, you know, spend basically time just updating something that really hasn't changed. There might be like a couple powers that have changed the rotation, maybe some artifacts and allies. That's about it. Everything else is the same. You could even grab some of my rotations from my 2019 videos and they would still be competitive. Uh, just the artifacts and allies have changed. So what I'm going to do here with this mini series is basically do uh, like might DPS in 2022, like uh, ice might in 2022, uh, quantum, atomic nature, whichever. I'm not going to be covering PREC because PREC really doesn't change whatsoever. Uh, all PREC is going to be the same. You're going to have like insert random power set ability. You're going to have weapon buff. You're going to have dervish. You're going to have vortex trap. You're going to have robot psychic and you're going to have knee venom. There. There's there's 90% of precision loadouts unless you're like gadgets or uh, rage or electricity. You know, one of the, the, the main meta powers. Everything else is going to be the exact same. You're going to sub in some kind of power set ability or even use tornado pull. You don't even, you don't even have to use a, a power set ability. It could literally be tornado pull, weapon buff, dervish, vortex trap, robot psychic, and new venom boost for a single target and AoE. It's the exact same loadout and rotation. So there's no point in showing prec. It's, it hasn't changed at all. So my goal is to basically show you the updated rotations. So it could be single target, AOE, supercharge base. Uh, I want to have them less than 20 minutes. I know this might be a little bit longer because it's uh, I have to touch on some supercharge with ice. Plus I've had this little longer intro to the series. So uh, of course, as always, timestamps will be in the description to the relevant sections. But yeah, that's my goal to have the, each video like maybe between 10 to 20 minutes in that range, to maybe 10 to 15 minutes ideally. Uh, and then basically give you just kind of an updated uh, at the max CR because we're going to be CR 378 for quite some time till the next episode. So this gives me an opportunity to basically show you each power set for might with the same CR and same stats so that it's a little bit better for comparison. So without further ado, let's get into the rotations here. Okay, so regard with a uh, melee rotation for ice, artifact wise, looking at transformation strategist and Quizlet. The artifacts you would consider swapping into would be either Flute or uh, the Gemini, which I'll show. Allies-wise, we're looking at Superman. If you can't afford Superman, grab uh, Cyborg for AoE. Single target would be uh, Crypto. Batman or Laughs will be the Legendary Passer for the random carp rock. And then ideally you're looking at uh, Emperor Aquaman for the Seaside Restart, which will bring the cooldown on Superman or Cyborg. Uh, when you use Ice Elemental or another Supercharge. So the rotation itself, we're looking at Dervish, which makes sure you have the dashing combo with Foot Mod. Looking at Ice Boulder Strike, Avalanche, Freezing Breath, we're canceling Freezing Breath after two ticks. Uh, Robot Psychic, Ice Elemental. On Ice Elemental, we're looking at Freezing Breath, Impaling Ice, Ice Boulder Strike, Avalanche, Robot Psychic, and Blizzard. So this one, this rotation is more set up uh, for kind of when you're solo, because when you have uh, superior gem spam in your groups, where you're getting basic ice elemental off cooldown or hitting ice elemental and then blizzard in, in your cooldown, that's the, uh, an entirely separate set of groups. If you're looking for more just like kind of, kind of generic, like uh, duo, alert, raid, without like multiple he gem spamming healers, this will be the rotation to go for, because Quiz is going to help with your supercharge regen, as well as, as impaling ice and ice elemental. So, uh, without further ado, let's touch on this now and show you the actual rotation here. Well, actually, I should mention one thing. If you find yourself getting interrupted with max uh, with uh, max damage, technically you can always pop on a power channeling. Power channeling will save you from the avalanche interrupt as well as the freezing breath interrupt because we're not running, obviously, so all amplifier. So, I mean, the 2% damage... Uh, not even like the 2% max damage drop off is, is inconsequential compared to if you get interrupted on if you get interrupted on one avalanche or freezing breath that's all the damage you would amount for an entire raid worth of max damage so it's more important than that so that's more depending on the situation if you have an alert or by yourself then yeah you can run that so you're not getting lunged 
uh, or if you're in like an alert without a tank or, or a raid, whatever. If you feel yourself getting interrupted too often, then just swap and power channeling on as the hand mod. That's a, it's not a big deal. So let's touch on the rotation. Okay, so you guys get the idea there with the rotation. Very power efficient, very self-sustaining. I mean, when you get the strategy card ticks, anything over 140, you're in the two million range. 139, 140, 149. So with that one, two mil damage without touching ice elemental buffs is not bad whatsoever. That's still competitive. There are plenty of rotations with like Frost Blast. Uh, you could do like just Avalanche, Ice Boulder Strike, Heat Vision. All of those are going to be around like 160, 170. Sometimes they'll touch 180s. But at the same time, this is going to be averaging almost 2 mil uh, in, in either the low 190s to 2 mil range, which is greater than any other rotation you're going to find with Ice, at least for melee. So in those situations like that, um, then you're, you're still remaining competitive without even needing Ice Elemental. You know, no, by no means is it going to match like Prek or anything like that, but uh, by no means is it uh, subpar. So what I'll do is it will touch on the Ice Elemental kind of supercharged rotation with as well, just so you can see that. And Ice Elemental, Freezing Breath, Impaling Ice, Ice Boulder Strike, Avalanche, like I said before. So let's just quickly show that as well. And there you go, there just at the end. So with the Ice Elemental buff, we jumped up to 3 million powers at the end, uh, 2.3, and that's without Gemini, that's without anything else, just with the uh, the Quisit damage there. Now, same thing, you do have the ability for the swap, so if you wanted to change, like transformation, swap the transformation card in for Gemini, you can do Flute as well. So for example, just to show you what like a Flute swap would look like, and what the concept of Flute damage would be, if I'm getting into uh, Ice Elemental, so we'll just do the rotation here. We're getting an Ice Elemental, Freezing Bath, and then in your Avalanche you can switch. Now we've hit Blizzard. All the rats are active. We can swap back to Quizlet. And you see just with swapping a flute, 
the parse jumps up to like 3.1 mil and that was even like a slow swap uh, i didn't realize that i was missing if i was a full supercharger had supercharger regen i wouldn't have had to wait for the second uh, impaling ice to hit uh, blizzard there but you get the idea just with adding flute into that rotation jumps it up to well over three mil just by the extra uh, damage from there swapping in for the flute but i mean that's ultimately that's your choice that's if you want to do it flute does work very well with blizzard because it's a multi-hit uh, supercharge, just like it does with Rage and some other ones as well. It's not going to work with Neo Venom Boost. So let's jump over and uh, we'll touch on the single target rotation. Okay, so with Ice Might single target, we're looking at Heat Vision, Glacier Flash, Freezing Breath, Frost Snipe, Psychic, and Ice Elemental. And then on Ice Elemental, same rotation, except we have uh, Blizzard as well. Uh, I'm still the firm believer that Blizzard, uh, especially Blizzard with Flute, will be more damage in the long run than the Venom Boost. I mean, it's rare that there's pure single target instances in this game, even if there's like a couple adds. Even if it's like, say, like SWE when there's a possibility of the multiple bosses together or when bo uh, bosses will come together. Uh, we're fighting multiple ones at once, etc. Like Blizzard is just always going to trump that. Uh, as well as if you get, want to get really fancy, technically you can swap in the head mod. So basically, when you use Ice Elemental, a 5,000 supercharge is supposed to give 5% uh, power or supercharge back when you use it. But the thing is, Blizzard used to be a 10,000, so it's actually 10% back where it should be 5. Like Blizzard's a 5,000 supercharge, but you get 10% back. So you get double the supercharge regen you get back using the blizzard head mod so e even if you wanted to pull this off you could pop ice, ice elemental then swap your head mods into uh, blizzard use blizzard and get the extra uh, the 10 percent back for that so it's easier to maintain it yourself so i mean yeah that's getting a little bit tricky but that's something you can do you can simply swap the head mods just like everyone did during the am days instead of uh, swapping chest mods and everything else you just have to swap out that second head for the blizzard supercharge and get that extra regen same thing in terms of artifact swapping, you're going to be using Heat Vision, oh sorry, Soul and Pavire, uh, Transformation Strategy Card, and then as soon as you pop Eye of Elemental, or where you're about to, you want to pop in Eye of the Gemini for a, scrap, for a Strategy Card. You want to watch though, Strategy Card um, will cancel your channels. So basically if I go into like Heat Vision, and then swap in, that was slow, word, uh, okay. <laughs> do over so if i go into heat vision pop in uh and swap it's going to cancel heat vision so same thing with glacier flash supercharge or pot strategy card you see that kind of the hand clap animation that strategy card canceling your channel so just don't be mid channel and pop gemini make sure you're either on frost snipe or just stop for like a, just a moment uh just swap in gemini go back into it pop uh, ice elemental once you're in ice elemental go back pop in uh, strategy card without before starting a channel and then going to so i know that might be counterintuitive because most of the time you're used to swapping on channels but uh just be aware of might you don't want to do that with ice elemental swap and then once you're in when you're in, in ice elemental swap back to strategy card same thing i mean you instead of swapping back to strategy card you can swap to flute hit a power then you hit blizzard then go back into it so you do have some options there depending on how much you want to go into it And like I said, I know th there's a couple kind of variations. You can, uh, I know some people use Neon Venom Boost in here for pure single target. I still firmly believe Blizzard, like I said before. You can also technically drop Frost Snipe if you wanted for like Avalanche. If there's going to be a situation where you need more AoE, but you're still getting uh, a good amount of AoE with the Heat Vision Explosion as well as the Freezing Breath uh, AoE there. The reason why I don't run, I know uh, there's variations where it's basically just Heat Vision, Glacier Flash, and Avalanche. I'm not a fan of that because Avalanche will lock you into animation, which can lead to some issues, as well as if the uh, if there's any kind of immunity they get from the actual uh, animation. I per Avalanche is certainly king on AoE, but uh, I don't believe so on for a pure single target. So let's kind of get into the rotation.
Okay, so you get the uh, concept there, the rotation. Uh, where to start? Whoop. Start at the 75. That's awkward as hell. Yeah. 87, 75. I mean, obviously, that's going to be lower hits on the strategy car procs. Then you get uh, when the rotation actually gets going and you have the strategy car procs properly. Then uh, you're looking at over 1 mil parses, 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, once you get into the finisher range, and you should be around just below mil or just over mil. It's going to fluctuate a little bit just because, uh, depending on the strategy car procs. But that's how you find it. And in the ice elemental, the rotation is the exact same. So basically, you're just clipping the end of uh, like Frost Snipe with ice elemental anytime you got the chance. So just to show you an example with ice elemental. I said that's the camo cooldown, and I can go into it. Start your heat vision. Not your robot. robot sidekick decided to die. So we'll wait. Uh, was he summoned before? Or did I make a mistake? Exobite. Oh, that's why. Don't make that mistake on your armories. Make sure that uh, the robot psychics are the exact same, or you're gonna have issues when you go into ice elemental or stealth or any other form change. So let's uh, let's just redo that. It's the same thing. Start your rotation. target at this point 1.6 and then you get back into it and basically that so like I mean you can clip your trinkets you clip your ally usually I always clip frost knight into uh into ice elemental but I mean really it's just you just clip something just to basically buy that free animation time but that's uh that's essentially a single target So for this rotation, it's more suited for people that uh, kind of want a one size fits all. So if you're saying like Obsidian, I don't have like multiple artifacts to swap in. I don't have multiple armories. I just want to kind of want run one rotation for everything that's going to work for AoE and single target. Kind of like a, uh, yeah, like I said before, like a, just a, a completely balanced rotation. Uh, this is going to be it here. It's still going to be the exact same uh, artifacts. Soul Amplifier Transformation Strategies card. And then you've got uh, kind of a mix here. So Amplified Heat Vision, Avalanche, Ice Boulder Strike, and then Freezing Breath uh, canceled after two ticks, which sets up the Frostbite for the rest. And then same thing in Ice Elemental uh, with Blizzard. It kind of gives you just like a nice uh, overall rotation here. So just to kind of show you an example here. Uh, make sure Psychics are the same. And just still be aware, ice still has the exact same issues. So, depending on the raid, the uh, you could be impacted by the ceiling bug with ice boulder strike. Like, say, uh, the biggest example was like Crown of Thorns with Atlantis on that sea beast fight. When you're dealing with bosses that are like really high up uh, or have like really large uh, character models, ice boulder strike will not hit. So, instances like that, as well as hallway fights where the hallway has like a low ceiling. So if you think of like Phoenix Cannon, those initial hallways were like the, basically the, the top of the roof where the ceiling is like essentially like a foot above you. Those, it's not so much Ice Boulder Strike, they, the developers can't fix that, that's just the actual level design. So that's always gonna be an issue with, uh, with Ice, with Ice Boulder Strike, so that's just something to be aware of. Same thing, I mean, Frost Blast has the same kind of bug that you can cancel it uh, early and, and kind of bug the cooldown. But, I mean, that's essentially it. I mean, if you wanted to go in Ice Elemental, same thing. Flip into Ice Elemental and go into Heat Vision. So, this, you get the AoE effect from Heat Vision, the Burning Dots. You've got the Avalanche, which doesn't need the PI. You've got Freezing Breath to set the PI. And Freezing Breath is already great on single target and AoE. So, it's not a rotation that's going to... I mean, you're still with Ice Elemental 2.7 mil. 
So, I mean, it's not some rotation that's going to like beat Prec DPS or anything like that. It's not designed to. It's basically just this is one loadout rotation that I work for a single target and AOE, limited artifacts. You know, you don't have to worry about swapping in Flute or, or Quizlet or, or uh, Eye of the Gemini. I mean, if you have them, great. But if you don't, you can just have these three artifacts and um, just kind of uh, go at it and still remain, you know, at least semi-competitive or depending on the situation. So if it's like, say, a fight that's like a mix of single target AOE and you don't really want to switch armies or mess around with that, you can just go with this. Uh, Freezing Breath is just as great on AOE as it is a single target. Heat Vision, you've got that pure uh, single target damage as well as the AOE burning and the explosion damage. So there you go.